AZ7530 CO2 controller. A complete set includes main unit, CO2 sensing probe, pan-in screws, and a positioning sticker. Multiple power supply options sold in different countries include Model 1 US piggyback plug, inserting power plug into 100 to 240 VAC land power, and plug the external device into piggyback socket. Model 2 European plug, inserting power plug into 100 to 240 VAC land power, and plug the external device into controlling socket. Model 3 UK plug, inserting power plug into 100 to 240 BAC land power, and plug the external device into controlling socket. CO2 sensing probe could also detect light intensity. The controlling function is disabled while detected light is weak in plant mode. The main unit is default as plant mode. While CO2 is too low, the external unit will be powered on. Main unit can be switched to human mode. By CO2 is too high, the external unit will be turned on. The scale of CO2 history curve could be switched from hour to week. The real-time CO2 value could be displayed as well. The controlling center and the zone value are displayed on the right-hand side of the display. For example, while the center is 1200 ppm, zone is 400 ppm means the controlling upper and lower limit are 1400 and 1000 ppm. Operation 1. In this case, the greenhouse CO2 burner is simulated by electric valve CO2 gas tank. Using menu, up, down and confirm keys, to adjust the center and zone value to 1200 and 400 ppm. Since it is in plant mode, the external device will be powered on while the CO2 is lower than 1000 ppm and stopped while the CO2 is higher than 1400 ppm. Operation 2. In this case, the CO2 ventilation fan is simulated by regular house use electric fan. Using menu, up, down, and confirm keys to switch the main unit to human mode, and then adjust the center and the zone value to 1400 ppm. Since it is in human mode, the external device will be powered on while the CO2 is higher than 1200 ppm and stopped while the CO2 is lower than 800 ppm. Please refer to operation menu for more details.